Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS. This is Manjunath Mudol. In this video, we are going to discuss about India Semiconductor Mission. India Semiconductor Mission Bandu, it is GS3 paper. The topic falls under GS3 paper. Within GS3 paper, this topic falls under industrial policy. Industrial policy. This topic it is important for both films and mains. Upcoming films 2025 and mains 2024. This topic is KS films and KS mains important. KS films re exam in KS films 2024. KS mains mains 2025. So, our exam will be e topic very important. Today. So, this India Semiconductor Mission, it was recently in news because as per some reports, the Semiconductor Mission, that is India Semiconductor Mission, it could get $10 million boost to fund more cheap projects in India. So, this was the report. So, it was in news because of the following report. So, in this video, we are going to study about India Semiconductor Mission, its objectives, key components, importance of semiconductors, government initiatives under India Semiconductor Mission. So these are the topics that we are going to study in this video. So India Semiconductor Mission, the case study model. So this India Semiconductor Mission, it was launched in December 2021. December 2021 only launch and it is a part of the larger program called Semicon India program. Semicon India program. So India in Madate Semicon India program on the on the program na launch Madiarate. So our program na part again Madate India Semiconductor Mission launch Madate. So this India Semiconductor Mission is a sub part of the larger Semicon India program. So coming to its objective, its main objective is to establish India as a global hub for semiconductor design, manufacturing, innovation and it also aims to reduce the reliance on imports. So as of now India is heavily dependent on imports to meet its domestic demand for semiconductor chips and uh, fabs. So the aim of this, ob the objective of this India semiconductor mission is to establish India as a global hub. So India is a global hub. Semiconductor fabs, mate, chips manufacturing model really, India should become a global hub in semiconductor design, manufacturing, and innovation. Really, India in Abdeku, it should become a global hub. So that is the objective of this India Semiconductor Mission. So this India Semiconductor Mission it falls under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So coming to the fund allocation, the total outlay for the mission is 76,000 crore rupees. 76,000 crore rupees, it is approximately US dollar 10 billion when it was launched. So that is the total outlay for this mission. In India Semiconductor Mission objectives are not other. So the first objective is, it, it aims to establish a robust semiconductor and display ecosystem, manufacturing ecosystem in India. A sustainable and robust semiconductor display and uh, fab manufacturing in India. So it wants to make India as a global leader in electronics and manufacturing. So in order to make India manufacturing hub of semiconductor, it also needs investments. So the second objective is it aims to attract investments from all over the world. So with the investment that is coming from all over the world, it can encourage or it can promote research, development and innovation in semiconductor field. So coming to the fourth objective, through this uh, ecosystem development, attracting investments and encouraging research and innovation in the semiconductor fabrication, design and manufacturing. It wants to make India self-reliance in semiconducting, sorry, semiconductor fabrication. So through that, it wants to reduce the imports, 
and it aims to increase the exports especially in semiconductor chips so in order to achieve all those above objectives it requires skilled manpower so one of the objective of this mission is to upskill the engineers scientists and researchers in semiconducting technologies and it wants to create a talent pool to support the industry so it wants to upskill to upskill model to promote engineers and researchers to take up more projects in semiconductor technologies so in that way it wants to create a talent pool to support the semiconductor industry india semiconductor mission the key components nododadre first one en antandre semiconductor fabrication unit na establish madodu so the scheme it supports and it provides incentive for development of semiconductor fabrication units fabrication units andre manufacturing model units so, which are essential for the production of chips used in electronics and telecommunications so it wants to establish semiconductor fabrication units in india the second key component is display fabs it it also along with uh, semiconductor fabrication units it also wants to establish manufacturing units for displays which are critical for devices like smartphones tvs and other electronic gadgets so ivaga namu smartphone alli eno display irutte so aa tarada display na manufacturing madlikke display fabrication units nu establish madlikke india semiconductor mission en madutte it provides support and incentives then the third key component is packaging and testing facility so semiconductor fabs matte display fabs ee eradu manufacturing facilities aad mele so adar value addition goskara en madbekagutte assembly madbekagutte testing madbekagutte marketing madbekagutte then packaging madbekagutte so ee ella facilities in house idre india dalle idre en agutte semiconductor fabrication matte display fabrication en now produce martive manufacture martive adar value chain build agutte ಈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಚೈನ್ ಇಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಿಂದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಸೆಮಿಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಚಿಪ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕೀ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಅದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಯಾವ ಕಂಪ್ನೀಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ಸು ಸೆಮಿಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಅಂತಹ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಕೊಡೋದು ದೆನ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಟು ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಗೆ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಕೊಡೋದು so that is the meaning of the design led initiative so aa tarada startup matte companies ge ee scheme en madutte ee mission en madutte support madutte then the fifth key component is collaborations and partnerships so the mission also wants to foster global partnerships with semiconductor firms globally yav yav firms companies semiconductor fabs matte display manufacturing madodralli ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕಂಪ್ನೀಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಆ ಥರದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಜೊತೆ ಮತ್ತು ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಕೊಲಾಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ಶಿಪ್ನ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೆಮಿಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಮಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೆಮಿಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಮಿಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೀ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೈ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಭಾರತದ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಯಾಕೆ ಸೆಮಿಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಒತ್ತು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಮಾಡೋಣ so that is uh, importance of semiconductors so the first importance is semiconductors are the core to the digital economy all electronics digital devices they are dependent on semiconductor chips semiconductor chips without these semiconductor chips manufacturing of these digital or electronic devices is not possible the second importance is strategic importance strategic importance of the you know, there are few areas which are key sectors for national security and economic growth for example defense telecommunications artificial intelligence and 5g technology most of the defense equipments are electronic devices modern defense equipments are all electronic equipments so india ivage enagide it dependent on imports for semiconductors and uh, semiconducting chips and uh, electronic gadgets even defense equipments also so this uh, defense sector is very crucial why because national security of india it uh, depends on defense in addition to this india is becoming a digital economy 
the telecommunications, artificial intelligence and 5G technology for all these fields, the semiconductor chips are very essential. So because of this, the economic growth of the nation, it is dependent on the semiconducting chips indirectly or directly. Then the third importance is global chip shortage. So because of the COVID-19 pandemic, so COVID-19 pandemic semiconductor chip global value chain global value chain because of lockdowns all over the world it has been disrupted since this global value chain has been disrupted the industries which are dependent on semiconductor chips they stopped working for example automobiles electronics gadgets so in order to avoid such situations India wants to develop its own semiconductor manufacturing units so as we all know that developing semiconductor ecosystem will enhance the economic growth it will create employments and it will also provide stimulus to the exports so now we will briefly discuss the government of India initiatives with respect to India semiconductor mission the first one is production linked incentive scheme so this scheme, it provides up to 50% financial support, 50% financial support for the development of semiconductor fabrication units and 30% of financial support for assembly, testing, marking and packaging units. Then the second initiative is design linked incentive scheme. So this scheme, it offers incentives for companies which are focused on chip design, development and deployment. So for that, it provides financial assistance for startups and firms working on semiconductor design and innovation in India. Then the third key initiatives is research and development initiatives. Research and development promote model the Koskara government in Martidendra. It is encouraging collaboration between academia and industry. It is promoting development of indigenous technologies and it is also providing stimulus to the intellectual property in semiconductor design. Then the fourth initiative is partnership with global semiconductor companies. So India in Martha it is attracting investments from global semiconductor companies such as Intel, Intel Irbodu, TSMC and so E company in the Samsung company in the so E3 the Yao companies with semiconductor with display fabrication units lead in there. So our companies they should come to India and they should do investments in semiconductor manufacturing units. So this is all about India Semiconductor Mission. So based on the topic that we have discussed so far, that is India Semiconductor Mission. Here we have provided one prelims practice question. It contains three statements. Go through all the three statements and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the PDF handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel. The PDF handout also contains the detailed notes of this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.